Are albums signed by the artist more valuable? We're talking about that today on Ask Me Anything plus Queen, how I got into doing YouTube vinyl community videos and tons more. Stick around, coming up right now. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank. And I'm Sherry. And welcome back to Sundays on channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. Believe it or not, Sherry and I are doing another episode of Ask Me Anything. I absolutely love doing it. Yeah. And she loves doing it. And I hope you guys dig it. So let's get right into today's questions. Our first question comes from Gavin Hill. Does getting an artist to sign a record do anything for its value? Yes, sometimes good and sometimes bad. I mean, this is just my opinion and maybe you guys can weigh in with, with um, your opinions uh, as well. In theory, a signed album, depending on the artist, should be worth more than an unsigned album. We're talking about signing the, the jacket itself. There's a couple issues at hand here that are sort of that have sort of poisoned the well and are sort of um, making this such an unpredictable market to the point where I would not buy a signed record. Um, I wouldn't do it unless I knew the person I was buying it from and knew how they got it signed. And that is just because there are so many fakes out there. If you go on YouTube, people will tell you it's certified and blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, don't necessarily believe that. Don't trust that. It's just too easy for someone to forge a signature Put that on an album jacket or really any sort of memorabilia for that case and try to jack up the price. So a huge, huge um, caution. Um, when Sherry and I first started dating, um, she bought me a off eBay. What, do you want to tell the story? Um, so is it this one? or no, it was the Kiss one. Okay, so yeah, I was really excited because we were dating and I knew that you loved Kiss. And there was a Kiss record signed by all four members and it had a certificate and everything. So I was so excited. It was all signed in different Sharpie colors and everything like that. So it was pretty, uh, pretty stylish. And uh, so yeah, I bought it thinking it was certified, thinking that it was a legitimate company and it wasn't. So I got taken for that and yeah. I was, yeah, that kind of hurt that uh yeah yeah i didn't know any better well i mean so. it's not your fault i mean it was the it was this was like 15 four, 15 years ago yeah. or so it was early days of a lot of this stuff and uh in the listing everything looks legit and i thought it was legit for the longest time too and i, I yeah. posted in a kiss group on facebook like oh dude uh that's a forgery it's not real and i, was, I found it very difficult to tell you that because i know yeah. you're really um <laughs> excited about that so yeah you really um have to be careful with that and um um ah, that's all i gotta say i know some people take a photo of the the guy signing the album yeah. sort of as evidence uh, but i think the real value and sign stuff is personal personal yeah so and i got a copy of a joan jett record that i got her to sign once and that sort of stuff and i think sign stuff means more to the individual if you get it signed you have the story behind it than actually buying something from ebay because you really you don't know where it came from Okay, this question comes from Dominic Weber, uh, wondering if you still sell 33 RPM t-shirts. Oh my gosh, this oh my is gosh. from who, Rob, Dominic, Dominic Weber. Dominic, your timing could not be better. This is a, <laughs> coincidentally, <laughs> a channel 33 RPM shirt. So um, I'll have more coming up, uh, I'll let you guys know, but I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna reopen the store. I closed it last year at some point. It was just, um, whatever, I wanted something, I'd, uh, for a variety of reasons, but it was closed. And uh, yes, uh, it's some of the most frequently asked questions I get here is when are you can open the merch store, when are you can open the merch store. So very soon, I have more details coming up. Stay tuned. I'll post about it on the Facebook and Twitter um, uh, channels or, or accounts or whatever. And I'll also do a quick video here. So yes, merch coming up. Thank you for the question and stay tuned. Okay, this question is from Grant Jordan. What got you into making YouTube videos and starting a channel about music? This is uh, an interesting story. Story. And do you know the story? Well, obviously, you. Yeah. I'm Probably not sure if you know my inspiration, but uh, uh, when our kids were younger, so it's actually um, right around now is actually the four-year anniversary of Channel 33 RPM. Yeah! My goal when I started doing it—not a goal, but I just thought I'm going to do this for one year. I can commit to one year. And somehow, four years later, I'm sitting in the basement here once a week talking to a camera, and uh, 14,000. Now, Channel 33 is all around the globe. Uh, so thank you guys. But Sherry, um, when we worked, when our kids were young, would work at nights. Yes. And I'd be like, what am I gonna do at home now? So I figured I would just, um, my passion um, was always music. 
and I was watching um, YouTube videos, guys like Scott Waters and LJ and um, um, so many guys. And I just, I want to be part of this. It seemed like a lot of fun. So I nervously threw on my camera, did the first few videos with my friend Javier. And uh, that's what I did. I just occupied my time while she was working and the kids were sleeping. And I, I, I love the idea of doing videos and, 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 and uh, talking to everyone out there in YouTube land. And it was just, um, yeah, kept going from there. And then if I guessed and Sherry's been on a number of times and I went through Vegas where I was interviewing artists and uh, it's been an absolute blast. But that's where it started from really to occupy my time. Okay, this question comes from Alan Antimatter. I really want to ask, do you have any Queen in your collection? And if so, what albums? Alan, I love Queen. Sherry loves Queen. I got, um, I got some I pulled here, but... Uh, I love Queen. What do you love about Queen? I, oh, well, I mean, okay, first off, Freddie Mercury. Hmm. His voice. His voice. And I mean, he was such a showman. And the um, enthusiasm that would come from him. Like, there's... It's... You, you're attracted to people who do things because it is a part of who they are. Mm. And they radiate the stuff that they sing about or that they write about. And he just, he radiated everything that he did. And it was just a part of his being. And I love Queen. Queen Queen's great. And at the video you and I enjoy watching together is that Queen uh, rocks Montreal. Yes. And uh, Freddie, uh, that was, I think, 84, it was recorded. But Freddie... Um, owns the stage if you haven't seen queen rocks montreal check it out sounds fantastic and those guys uh, rock i do have um i don't have a huge queen collection on vinyl and i'm not going to proclaim to be any sort of queen expert what do we have here news of the world and this had of course um get down make love and um we will rock you does it does it yeah. yes we will rock you so we got this one we have queen the game uh, another one bites the dust and some other cool stuff. We got Queen Jazz. Oh my gosh, this is close. Let's go. Fat Bottom Girls. I love Fat Bottom yeah, Girls. That's a good one. Bicycle Race. Uh, what else we got on here? Yeah, those are the big ones. But yeah, yeah Queen Jazz. Greatest Hits. I got two copies of Greatest Hits for some reason. Queen Live Magic. This album gets dissed a lot. It's a highly edited version of the Queen concert, but uh, I still dig it. Queen A Day at the Races. I love the classic stuff. Tie Your Mother Down. It's probably one of my favorite Queen songs. What's your favorite Queen song? Under Pressure. Under Pressure. Bowie. Great one. And of course, another copy of um, Queen's Greatest Hits. That's it. That is today's episode of Ask Me Anything. I'd like to thank the lovely Sherry Landry, Mrs. Channel 33 RPM, for coming on the show once again and for reading off um, your questions. So thank you very much, Sherry. I hope you'll come back and join us again sometimes. Dear 33ers, let us know what you thought of today's episode. Remember, if you enjoyed it, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button so you never miss another episode again because I don't want you to ever miss another episode again. Also, leave your questions for future episodes of AMA below this video for me or for Sherry. I'm sure she would love to answer your questions. Dear 33ers, I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic week. Until next time, keep, keep on, on spinning. spinning.